Hello guys, how's everyone doing? King LeJ here. I have bought a few Rainbow Six Siege collectible chibis. If you guys don't know what chibis are, they are similar to Funko Pop, except a little bit more detail and more proportional in terms of body size to head ratio. You can buy these chibis from the Ubisoft store, which I will leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. So, the first up over there that we're starting off with, it is Ash. Let's get started and check her out. Let's take a look at the box design itself, which I find pretty unique in my opinion. If you look carefully here on the sides and the top view, you can see it has icons of a few operators such as Brook, Doc, Carriera, Glass, Dermite, Castle, and of course my favorite, Frosty. Now let's take a look at the back. As you can see here, this is all the characters you can get in Series 1. Hopefully in the future, they come up with more operators such as Frosty, which I would love to own a Frosty, maybe Hibana as well, Valkyrie, etc. The chibi itself, it is 10 centimeters tall or 4 inches tall. Let's take a look at that chibi itself, how it looks like physically. When you first open the box, it will bring this code, which is redeemable to unlock a unique charm in-game, which is only obtainable when you buy the chibi itself. You cannot buy this charm in-game. It is also very strict. Because it will ask you specifically for which system you want to redeem this code. So you have to be very sure of your decision. Let's take a look at the GB itself. So far, what I like so far right off the bat, it is well designed. It has her colors exactly like she has it in game. The only thing that I found weird is the hat design itself right here. As you can see, it says Ash instead of saying FBI like she has it in the game. But you can see she has her gadget here, which she could use to breach through walls. If you look here on the side, it has the logo of the USA flag, which it looked like to put really good details on it because it's, it's very clear. It's very clear. She has her knee pads here as well. She has a nice, beautiful pose right here, like she's ready to go into action. Her little points in here hanging on the back. It is well designed, guys. Like The color's on point. I, ca I can't complain. So it looks just like her in the game. Her hairstyle, her hat. Like it's, it's pretty damn cool. If you take a look here in the bottom, it has the logo of the Rainbow Six Siege game. It's pretty official for me, in my opinion. It's pretty official. Let's take a look at how the charm on in-game looks like. Let's go. So this is how the unique charm looks like in-game. It looks exactly like the chibi itself, except it has a little bit more glare on the sunglasses, and her eyes look like they're full of energy. She looks actually, she actually looks happier in here. But you can see it's exactly the same pose, the same style of the pointer. Even the hat itself, it says Ash instead of FBI. Which is pretty cool. I like it. I like it so far. I can't complain. Look at that. It just looks great. It looks exactly like the chibi itself. Let's see if you can see the logo on her side. Oh, that's the only difference right here. We, as you can see on the side, it does not have the USA flag, which is kind of weird. I mean, the chibi itself has it, but I don't know why they wouldn't add it in here. But overall, it looks pretty good for me, in my opinion. I just noticed something cool, which I forgot to mention, because I did not notice till the end of the video. That platform she's standing on is actually removable, which I love this. It's amazing. It gives her more freedom. She's not stuck to some platform, if you get what I mean. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't be afraid to smash that subscribe button. I will greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to leave your comments down below on what you think of Ash the Chibi. Thank you guys for watching, like always. Peace out.